please don't sue us, yada yada yada, you guys know the drill. There's an outline around the words everything and wrong, but no outline around the words with, in 11 minutes, spoilers or dare. All I'm asking for is consistency, damn it! Also, as new pieces of text appear on the screen, the old pieces of text that are already on the screen start jumping around for no reason. This run through the brick is cute and all, but are we honestly supposed to believe that no muggles ever see this and freak the f out, calling 999 to report the redheaded kids who just completely evaporated in broad daylight? If you do find yourself seeing people running straight into brick wall and then phasing through it, the police is not who you should be calling. You should be calling a psychiatrist. The invisibility booster must be faulty! Yeah, because magic invisibility can break down just like windshield wipers or air conditioning. Don't get me wrong, that line there was absolutely dreadful, but the problem with that line wasn't the idea that magical items can just break, because that's reasonable. Instead, the problem is everything else about what Ron just said, and the way he said it. In this shot, there are panels open everywhere in this greenhouse, including a huge beanstalk or something coming out of this one. But then when the camera actually goes down into the greenhouse, none of the panels are open. No, they're not closed. Well, they could be, but you can't see them. First of all, we can tell from the configuration of the window frames that the camera is somewhere in this section of the building. And there are two big beams in between the camera and the first open panel. That positions the first open panel somewhere in this pane of glass. But we can only see the bottom half of that pane of glass, whereas the open panel is in the top half. And honestly, at this point, I'm hoping you'll just trust me on the second panel, because do you really want to hear another almost identical explanation of why the other panel is also open? Because no, we don't. You can't see the panel, so let's just leave it at that. Doesn't Hogwarts set a curriculum? Like, how can professors come in and give quizzes about themselves to the students without that getting out and the professor getting reprimanded? I once had a teacher at my school who did literally that and the school did nothing. We will be transforming animals into water goblins. Ah, another super useful spell. That's something you probably need on an everyday basis. A school teaching its students something that's almost completely useless that they'll never use is apparently just what an inaccurate portrayal of the education system. Also, shouldn't this qualify as animal cruelty? Is no one going to do anything about this? The snake monster in the Chamber of Secrets must be waiting weeks between victims. We had the cat, then the picture kid, then the dark-haired dude, and it's Christmas. While everything you said was definitely accurate, I have absolutely no idea why that's supposed to be a sin. Also, using Christmas as a point of reference for the end of when the petrifications happen is fine, but it means nothing unless you also have a point of reference for when the petrifications started to happen. This super complicated potion that took a month to create apparently does not need to be measured or administered in any specific amount. Well, yeah, so long as you have enough, what's the worst that could happen? If you have too much, is there a risk that you start looking too much like the person that you want to imitate? I believe in magic cars with invisibility buttons. I really do. But I don't believe in a magic car that somehow knows its owner is in danger and comes roaring in to save the day. That's a very strange place to draw a line. Oh, come on! She's been in here for weeks, but not one doctor, nurse, or professor checked to see if there was a large, wadded-up piece of paper in her hand. Doctor, have you fully treated the patient? Why, yes, I have. So you've checked for a pulse? Yes. And you've administered the appropriate medication? Of course. And of course you've checked the patient's hand to make sure there's no wadded-up piece of paper in there? Oh no, I forgot to do that. Then what are you playing at, man? What kind of medical practitioner are you? You dare to call yourself a doctor? Where did you get your degree? Medical standards are forever falling in this modern era. But if it kills by looking people in the eye, why is it no one's dead? Because no one did look it in the eye. Colin saw it through his camera. Well, Justin must have seen the basilisk through nearly head to snick. And Hermione had the mirror. So the basilisk has eyes of death that don't work if they're seen through a mirror? Is the light that's reflected off its eyes somehow less deadly if that light has turned a corner? Who is it that the monster's taken, Minerva? Ginny Weasley. How does she know which student was taken? The message just says her without mentioning a name. Maybe because she's like, gone and shit? Hi, are you in the mood to binge? Well then please do consider clicking the annotation on screen to visit the Sin Sins playlist. Or consider clicking one of the other annotations to listen to this wonderful backing music you're currently hearing. Thank you!